Hey guys, so another Canva tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to come up with these styles in Canva. If you like these styles, then feel free to stay tuned because I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step guide. But before that, let's just, I just want to kind of stress this out to utilize the effects in Canva. So let me just grab that one, click the text. And let's say this, let's use this one. However, you can use different text file or text design if you want to. So I want you to utilize these effects in, in Canva. There's a lot of things in here, like different styles that you can play around. And these four styles that I created is just a sample. You can come up with a different styling. Are you looking for an affordable way to outsource your task? Better check out Fiverr. I'm going to put the link below so you can have the free credits. So what is Fiverr? Basically, Fiverr allows you to outsource your task for as low as $5 per month. There's a lot of contractors there that offer a lot of services that can be really helpful for your business. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So anyway, let's proceed to the first style what you can do there is you need to duplicate the text and by the way you're not limited to the copper copper fonts style you can always play around with a different font style but these two fonts you should have two texts here and then the first effect use the hollow and then the other one oh we should be using two hollow effect for both font okay now is let's add another square thing here and i'm gonna make this one longer okay kind of horizontal version and then we will change this opacity to 12 percent and you can play around with the opacity i just prefer to make it at least 10 to 15 percent so it doesn't look messy in the eyes so let's move this down let's move it the position to forward and i'll change this to block okay the color for this one of course you should match it to your background color so that one and then here i'm gonna move it like that so that's how it looks. So kind of like a broken link or broken text rather. It's kind of broken text style. So now let's proceed to the step, to the, the style two. Still the same. We need to have two fonts. So click this one. For this style, I use a Bebas. So let's replace this with Bebas. And then... Okay, let me just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so still the same. I used to style effect. Let's just use this. Uh, let's use none. So the, the second text should be none. And then the other one is hollow. And for this part, I'm going to make this white. Okay, let's make it white. And... Move it like that. So there is, there's a kind of shadow effect thing, but it's solid, right? Now let's proceed to the broken, to the broken text, the third style. So it looks broken in here. So this style is a little bit similar with the text, the, the style one that we created. So let's change this one to Bebas again, and then I'll add a line. So they they are the same. I mean, this style is the same with the style one, but we're just using a line. And then I'll make this color. I'll make this color lock.
So yeah, that's that's basically how you can do this one. And then I normally make group this these lines so it's kind of cleaner for me to just drag and replace the color. So that's how it works. Now let's proceed to the other text style, the neon one. So click this one and then click the text and then the hustle again. And then we will add, okay, still the same. I'm going to add another text in here, another font. Um, this is two effects. The other one is neon. And the other one is splice. So that one. So for the splice, let's just change the font in here. Like instead of this dirty white thing, I prefer to change that to, oh, it's green, lighter green rather. I prefer to make it white. And then we'll put it like the outline as well. I want it to make it darker. So the contrast, I, I just want to balance the contrast. So here. Again, this should be underneath this outline font, like that. And that's basically how it goes. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so there's also other thing I just forgot. You like adding a shadow into your to your font. Let's try to use this and let's change the effects to none. So there is like this one, it has a shadow effects already in here, like this one. But if you want to come up with, because there are some instances that you might need to do a manual shadowing. Let's just say, I don't want to have shadow on every every alphabet. I just wanted to highlight a specific angle. So instead of using this one, you can replace it with to none and then go into the elements and type in shadow. And go to the graphics. So this, by the way, the, the shadow only works for pro account. So hopefully I can come up with a free version and like uh, a discount for the pro. You can... Just check my link if I have a link there, but if not, I'm really sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to put something here. Like, I just want to have shadow on the first alphabet and the last alphabet. So, yeah, that's how it basically works. Let me know if you have any questions or concern or if you have suggestion about anything related to Canva tutorial, feel free to comment down below and leave me a DM me on Facebook or on, on my social accounts or email me. Just take a look on my information on my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.